Hello! In this video, we'll see how you can upload your mobile app to iOS App Store. After creating your app with AppMaker, you can get all the necessary bundles from the AppMaker dashboard. However, after the submission, a wait time of 3 to 5 days is taken for an app to be reviewed and approved by Apple. There are a few steps that you need to follow to be able to upload an app to the iOS App Store. Firstly, in a dashboard, you can see the iOS app is ready after the update. When you click on the Upload to Store, a pop-up will appear. Here, choose either you have an account or you click on the Create an Account option. Further, you'll be taken to this page where you can create your Apple ID. You can read the document attached in the description on how to set up your Apple developer account. After filling in all the information and accepting all the terms and conditions, you need to pay a yearly amount of $99 to have a developer account. If you have an account, you can just sign in to the Apple developer and you will be taken into the developer homepage of appstoreconnect.apple.com. As the first step, to generate certificates, you need to upload the .p8 file, key ID, and issue ID. For that, let's go to the Users and Access section. On the next screen, in the top panel, click on Keys, and you'll be able to generate API IDs here. In the Active panel, click on Plus. Generate API key pop-up tab will be opened. Enter the name of authentication name or the name of the app. Select Admin from the Access text box and click Generate to get the new key. Your authentication key will appear in the Active Key section once it's generated. There will be an option to download API key. Download the key and keep this .p8 file secure for uploading it later. You can go ahead and copy the issuer ID and the key ID as well for the next step. Once done, let's go back to the AppMaker dashboard. On the iOS app dialog box, click on Upload to Store. Go ahead and click the I have an account tab. All the steps we did previously will be appearing here. Click on Next and Generate Certificate tab will appear as step 2. Here, upload the .p8 file that we had just downloaded. It'll automatically enter the key ID. If not, paste the key ID in the Enter ID key text box and Issuer ID in the Enter Issuer ID text box. Click Build once done. It takes around 20 minutes to build IPA. Now IPA build is successfully done. In order to upload IPA to iTunes, you will need to head back to App Store Connect. Here, click on My Apps. All the apps you create will be listed up here. On the top left corner, next to Apps, click on the plus icon and select New App from the drop-down list. A pop-up form will appear on the screen. Enter the new app details here. Check the iOS box and enter the app name to be displayed in the Name field. Select the primary language of your app. Here, it's English. For the Bundle ID field, from the AppMaker dashboard, get the package name. Choose the same from the drop-down list. In the SKU field, enter any number, preferably the project ID. Select Full Access from User Access and click Create so your app will be created in the App Store Connect. Now let's go back to where we had paused, Uploading App to App Store. The IPA build is ready and click on Upload IPA to iTunes Connect. The IPA file will be uploaded and it'll take around 3 minutes to complete the upload. Once it's successfully uploaded, we can proceed with the completion of the app submission at the App Store Connect. First, head to App Information on the left panel. Enter details in all required fields. In the General Information section, select the category in which your app comes in. Here, I am selecting Shopping as Primary and Food and Drink as Secondary. Next, in the Content Right section, click Setup. Click No on the dialog box that appears 
asking for access to third-party content. Click on Done. Next, set up the age rating and complete the rating steps. Here I am clicking on None on the first page. Click on Next and checkmark the No in both settings. On the next page, add the appropriate age for the app owners. Click Done. You can save the settings. Next, let's go to App Privacy. Click on the Get Started button available on the page. Give the data collection inquired as Yes, so you will be collecting user data. Then choose to publish after ensuring proper info. Next in Contact Info, checkmark the following. Name, email address, phone number, physical address. Other details to be added include Location if you are using geolocations on your app. In Diagnostics, add crash data. When done, click Save. The data type selected will be appearing one by one. You need to set up each one separately. So first, let's select Name. Scroll down to checkmark app functionality. Click Next. Select Yes for the User Identity Collection setting. Click Next twice. And on the page that appears, select No for tracking purpose. Click Save. Continue the same process for all the contact information data types, location, and crash data. Click on Publish after entering a valid privacy URL. The app privacy will be available across the App Store platform. For the next step, in Pricing and Availability, choose the price of your app from the drop-down. Next, update availability by clicking Edit and by selecting the countries. Then click Save. Now let's head back to the Prepare for Submission section. First, let's upload app reviews and screenshots. It needs to be of different types and proper size. To generate iOS screenshots, check out the video attached where we explain the process. Click on Choose File and upload the screenshots of all the required images of iPhone 6S, iPhone X, iPad Pro 3rd Gen, and iPad Pro 2nd Gen. You can add up to 10 images for each. After uploading the app from the AppMaker dashboard, select the build that you have uploaded. Choose the latest build that you have of your app. Next, choose an app icon for the App Store. In the Copyright field, fill in the registered brand name. You can upload routing app coverage file for specific regions, which are again optional. Next, you need to enter the details for app review. If your app requires signing in to unlock app features, you need to provide login details so Apple can complete the review process. If not, you can uncheck the Sign in Required section. Also, next, fill in other information like promotional text, description keywords, and URLs of your business. Once all the sections are completed, you can go ahead, save the details, and click on Submit to a Review. As the app is submitted, it can take around two to three days to complete the review process, and you'll hear back from the Apple team. It may take a second or third review in case of faulty apps before it goes live. Also, AppMaker provides complete assistance during the process. You can connect with customer support and create tickets in case of failed attempts. You can also invite us to upload your app on App Store Connect. So if you haven't created an app for your business, it's the right time to scale up. Build amazing Android and iOS app with AppMaker with no prior coding knowledge. Watch the video to know more.